Welcome to Plastic Profiles. I am Agent Chuckles. Steve, the writing dad. What's going on, guys? And today, we've got exciting news. Look, the curtain is slowly peeling away. Yeah, I see um, it. It's yeah. It's well, I'm, truth be told, truth time, I'm in a different area. Um, I intend to get rid of these eventually, um, <laughs> but there's still stuff in there that is a little distracting to look at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to where I keep my victims. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see them now. <laughs> um, so anyways, no, my setup is all different. So I, forgive me if I get too close. You know, I don't no one needs to see all this face that close. I'm still thinking but, uh, victims. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're going to be quiet back there. Is he joking? Is he not? Yeah. <laughs> he was just so nonchalant about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I find the characters keep the kids calm. Oh, you got kids? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what was that? That was a. Uh, oh, that was the European. No. Uh, National Lampoon's Vacation or something. The, he said, nope. <laughs> the one with uh, Rusty when he's grown up. Yeah. And he takes his kids on vacation and they find uh, Daryl from The Walking Dead. And he's got, oh, you got you got kids? With the stuffed toys on his truck. Or no, no. <laughs> Best part of the movie. Best part of the movie. Anyways, welcome to the show, everybody. Oh, I'm going to do that again. Welcome to the show, everybody. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, I know I say it all the time, but I always mean it. I'm very excited about this episode. Um, every time I do one of these, I always gain a new appreciation for these characters. Um, you know, I've, I've gone through, I do my best to make these, uh, these interesting and exciting. And, um, I, I think, I think I've done it today. I think I've done it today. Ooh, so we what always we do here. Something. Well, I do. I do. You know, like, yeah, well, it's appreciated, man. If no one else tells you, I'm telling you, I appreciate it. Well, this thank is... you. All right, let's roll credits. Let's get out of here. <laughs> um, you know, like Snow Job. Like, I didn't realize that he's basically this uh, the sniper, the, the team sniper, you know, that he just knows how to ski and live ski. in the snow. But, yeah. you know, if you look at his training, he's a heavily uh, heavily uh, trained sniper. So, yeah. yep. and that mm. just isn't something that they normally do with him. Not just on skis. I guess. In, no. Uh, no. Um, so what we do at Plastic Profiles is we examine a classic G.I. Joe character's file card. And then through careful scientific evaluation, we look, at right? the <laughs> we look at the corresponding. I'm looking at myself while I do this. I look at the corresponding figure. Uh, that's right. I need to have hand visuals. And right. then I compare it with the, with the modern other. classified interpretation. Mm. To determine which of those two figures is best represented by that classic G.I. Joe file card. Yeah. 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 yeah that turned out all right. right. Um, yeah. So, and then, later in the show. And then. You know it. You want it. Right. You've asked for it. You that's... won't stop asking for it. Oh, my God. My We've got is... casting calls. I'm going up. Oh, goodness gracious. So, what we do on casting call is we so through through learning about the character and their file card we we see where they're from what mm -hmm. you know what country what state what have you and then we cast them in a movie using actors from where the character is from for example uh my example off the hand is not a good example mm. uh <laughs> so glad uh, you brought it up like <laughs> yeah yeah for example i don't have one how's that <laughs> uh, for example, Breakers from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So we picked actors from Tennessee. I think I picked. Uh, uh, who did I? You picked. I picked Justin Timberlake, and you picked Johnny Knoxville and yes. Randy Orton. Yes, if I remember right. 
I picked somebody else too, but I don't remember who I picked. Um, but yeah, so there's your examples since they're all from Tennessee. So today we are going to take a look at Bumble. Scrap Iron. Booyah. Um, so like you might be mechanic. looking at us. What's that? I said he looks like an old mechanic. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a little pack of Marlboros on his chest. <laughs> Grease monkey vibe, yeah. Green stains everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> the missile system's down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Need a cigarette, and you hear that you can hear the Zippo <laughs> fling, fling, fling. <sighs> Better. Um, but you might be looking at his file card here and going, but uh, Agent Chuckles, his birthplace is classified. Well. Yes, that's true. But uh, in that case, we're just going to have to freestyle it and come up that's with right. uh, who we think can best be suited to play uh, Mr. Iron. Yeah. So let's get into it. So Scrap Iron came out and was released in 19... Not to get too close. Released in 1984. He's the Cobra Anti-Armor Specialist, codenamed Scrap Iron. File name, classified. Primary military specialty, Tank Destroyer. Ooh. Birthplace, classified. Oof. It is believed that Scrap Iron is a product designer for Destro's Armaments Company, carries out initial field testing on all new armor-piercing munitions and submunitions. Area of specialization is remote-launched laser-guided rocket-propelled piezoelectric fused anti-tank weapons. These weapons are categorized beyond the smart stage and are known by the nomenclature brilliant. Oh, goodness. Brilliant. Scrap Iron is methodical and precise. Imperfection in any form repels him. Perhaps that's why he wants to blow up the world. Current state of the art. Oh, yeah. This is a little asterisk for uh, Brilliant is current state of the art mill tech terminology. Mm. I think we all got that. I think we understood that. I think so. Yeah. I think that was clear. Yeah. Um, so before we get too far, I just want to thank three Joes for letting us use all these classic G.I. Joe uh, images and the file cards, the pictures. It's amazing. Um, Hi-ho, 3D Joes! Away! I don't know. <laughs> you I know what? I, that one. Yeah, I, I can see you phoned that one in. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. All right, all right. All right, let's start again. Let me do another one. Let me do another one. All right. Yeah, because... The last one I did with the Thundercats was pretty good. So that I'll was. Come on that was one. really come good. On you should have saved that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Christmas um, episode. <laughs> oh, wait, I got one. I got one. All right, here we go. All right, all right, Three D Joes. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Three D Joes. Do 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 do. Yeah, that was good. So now that I know where everyone stops watching the video, let's go to the next term, <laughs> next slide. <laughs> All right. So the title of this one is Next Thing You Know, I Got an Island Plus Some Tank Destroyers. That's mm. from uh, Word Burglar. Uh, um, oh, Venomous Ideology. Yes. That's, mm. yeah. I love that song. I love the whole album. Word Burglar, uh, Welcome to Cobra Island. You can just ask uh, Alexa, say, play Welcome to Cobra Island, the album by Word Burglar, and it'll do there that for is. me. Put that yeah. on your playlist. I do. Whenever I need whenever I need some Joe input, Yeah. but uh, I can't, like, watch YouTube or play with my dollies, okay. uh -huh. I just say, I just tell Alexa or Google to do that for me, and I'm wrapping. Hey. Okay. All right, Bye. let's get to it. So, modern day anti tank weapons. So, oh, too much face. Nope. Modern day anti tank weapons. Yeah. So, we've got the uh, AGM 114 Hellfire, is an American air to ground missile, AGM, first developed mm. for anti armor use, later developed for precision drone strikes against other target types, especially high value targets. It has a multi mission, multi target precision strike ability and can be launched from multiple air, sea, and ground platforms including the MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper. So that's pretty awesome. You hear about those, you hear the Predator and Reaper a lot, and uh, mm. it, like things like, um, uh, uh, 
what, like like twenty four or um, Homeland or any of those kind of spy governmenty type. Hmm. Um, yeah, you hear you'll hear him talk about we've got Reapers on station, you know, or whatever. It's fun. <laughs> uh, Spike is an Israeli fire and forget anti tank guided missile, an anti personnel missile with a tandem charge, high explosive anti tank heat warhead. It is available in man portable vehicle launched and helicopter launched variants. So that's kind of cool. Um, so these are just weapons that he's prop that Scrap Iron probably has familiarity with. You know, there's there's not a, a ton of character background in this file, so just trying to just trying yeah. to take a peek at you know, what does he wonder, deal with on a day to day basis. This guy he pretty much makes weapons. This guy is just all over the place. I, I would he has a familiarity with. Almost every weapon out there, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably. Yeah. Um, let's see. The FGM 148 Javelin is an American-made portable man port American-made portable man portable. I swear I just copy and pasted that, but all right. Maybe <laughs> it'll make sense if I read it again. Is an American-made portable man portable anti-tank system yeah. in service yes. since 1996. Its fire and forget design uses automatic infrared guidance that allows the user to seek cover immediately after launch. In contrast to wire guided systems, which require a user to guide the weapon throughout the engagement. So they go and then, ah, you know, as opposed to like holding the laser on the target, you know, so it goes there the whole way, yeah. you know. The Red Arrow 12 is a Chinese fire and forget infrared homing anti tank missile. Can be oh, there's a mistake. Can be fired within buildings and bunkers due to its soft launch system. The <laughs> missile is ejected non-explosively. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but the bad problem with those missiles is once you fire off a couple of them, you're hungry. Half hour. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was dumb. That was dumb. All right. So, um. It does say that he's he you know, he works for that he he's thought to work for Destro. You know, I'm not sure. We'll take a look at the figure and see if we think that maybe he really does or not. But mm -hmm. you know, there isn't uh, uh, there just isn't much to go on in that file card other than his weapons system. So. Yeah. Here's a look at the packaging. It's got a pretty cool, pretty cool design. We've got his little missile system there. Um, okay. Great art again with the swivel arm battle grip, so he can do this uh, uh, then we got the cross cell on the back with all the different characters you can collect at the time and then here he is so the breakdown he comes with a big old pistol he is not playing games no no that functions as a boomerang too he can throw <laughs> it uh it's a fire and forget weapon <laughs> <laughs> um, he has two grenades molded on he has uh, another pistol molded on his leg of course he's got his anti-tank weapon and then two extra missiles um so that's that's his loadout um pretty pretty self-explanatory he has a remote button thingy i didn't put on there it... remote button thingy you know. yeah yeah I like the way that it's attached to the anti uh tank weapon too right? yeah yeah it's pretty cool it's you know cool. He, he, you pretty much have to station him somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have wheels or walking feet or anything like that. So, <laughs> like a wheelbarrow. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna need a couple of dreadnoughts to help him wheel that thing out. You know, or it, it's not a portable. As they, much as he's so good at portable this. stuff, it seems <laughs> that is not a portable uh, unit mm -mm. at all. All right, so here is the classified scrap iron box. Uh, wasn't able to find who did the artwork on this uh, on this box, but it's awesome. Um, this is another plastic-free packaging. Um, totally awesome. We got Sky Striker Joe Jets in the background. We've got stuff blowing up. We've got scrap iron shooting, playing Nintendo Switch. I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, nothing? Nintendo Switch? No? Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> So let's see what he's got. So here's the classified scrap iron breakdown. So for one thing, the obvious thing is this helmet comes off to show you why the other helmet doesn't come off. Because he is ugly. Yeah, that's an ugly um, dude, man. He's got two-face syndrome. Um, 
<laughs> and uh yeah but it's cool it's really well done sculpt it's awesome it's it's everything you'd want it to be um but until just, now i don't think anybody really knew that he well the, the original figure does have some scarring on his face okay but not like that's not full. like ah you know yeah. um but it's cool it's a cool there's nothing wrong with it i think it's cool it doesn't counteract counteract any uh I hope the glare on my head doesn't blind everybody. The doesn't counteract any lore or anything like that. I think it's cool. Um, we've got explosive uh, effects. See, in pieces. my mind, like my imagination goes wild. You know, obviously, dude is a weapons expert. He deals with anti tank weaponry, all of that good stuff. You know, he works possibly for Destro. But for me, right. it's like this dude started at a young age. You know, he was messing with firearms and weapons and explosions because. Oh, yeah. You know, and then it, you know, that's how he got branded and scarred. You know what I mean? And yeah. maybe that was the turning point for him to take a walk on the bad side of the law. You know, <laughs> 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 he was recruited as a young man by Destro who saw some potential in him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, maybe this is a new segment. All right. So here's yeah. my backstory for him. Yeah. So I picture he's playing with matches. He sets the bathroom shower curtain on fire. His stepdad walks in because it's always a stepdad. Stepdad, yeah. Is super pissed at him because, you know, he set fire he's just fire. set fire. So his stepdad beats the tar out of him, which is not uh, nothing unusual. Right. Um, perhaps he puts the shower curtain out on the side of his face. Oh. oh you'll never do that again. Oh. Um. So now, thus leading him to his life of crime and Whoa. hate of imperfection. He hates imperfection because when he looks in the mirror, that's what he sees. Oh, my God. We are the champions, my yes. friend. Yes. Keep on fighting. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll stop. Dude. Oh, my God. Dude. Ah. Ah. Man, I should be writing these, these G.I. Joe books, not Seriously, this person. Dude. Do it. Yeah. That's amazing. Don't you want to learn all about him now? Yeah, now I'm like, I'm invested now, like thoroughly. I don't know what makes him tick. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Anywho. I think I think we've done a lot of good here today. I, I don't think, think we need so. to go any further. I think we can stop so. it right I here. Think we've, right. Um, Anyways, we've like and subscribe, folks. That's Catch right. you. That's it. <laughs> that's it. We're done. We can't top that. You know. <laughs> That was uh, like okay. Profound. Right. It was profound. <laughs> okay, gotta focus. Gotta focus. Oh, my, oh, my. My there. Okay, all right. So he's got his pistol. He's got his Nintendo Switch. He's got an anti-armor drone. Okay, it's a remote control, but it looks just like the Switch to me. But uh, he's got an anti-armor drone. This drone is rad. It's got tank it treads. Move. Now the treads don't really move, but mm -hmm. I mean we're in the play world here, right? So. Right. It's got tank treads, so he doesn't go, hang on, guys. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> it's got two missiles. It's got lots of explosions, blast effects. You can set up to make it look like it's shooting. Um, he does have his Lonely Hearts Club band, two grenades. Nice. And then his helmet. Yeah. Um, totally awesome. Totally awesome. I, I feel like... Uh, oh, well, let's go into this a little bit further. Um so I looked into um, these missiles to see what kind of missiles are these. And this is the closest I could find are the Type 85 anti-tank missile from Hong Shen Heavy Machinery Industries. Mm -hmm. um, they're laser guided. They can be fired from a tripod, towed launcher, fixed twin aircraft, ground vehicle, or helicopter. So it makes sense that if scrap iron did indeed work for Mars, that yeah. they would use a lot of products that could be used different ways. Right, like they're not going to want to get. Well, this missile can only be used with this, and if we try to upgrade, we have to upgrade all our missiles too. You know, this can be used with all the different. Like infantry can carry around launchers for it. Okay. You can use the tripod. You can hook it on, uh, hook on your jets, um, make it shoot out of the back of a jeep, or hook on your helicopter. Okay. Um, that so cool. that's the type of missile I believe that is. Um. What do I have next? I'm just as excited as you are. I Whoa. Don't <laughs> okay. Oh. So, which scrap iron gets salvaged? So, who is the scrap iron? Ms. Scrap iron to ever scrap iron. 
yeah, you know what? I'll go first. I'll go first. Let's I don't do remember it. who went first last time, but I'll go first. Uh, I think. Mm, I think I no, yeah, I went first last time. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, I'll go first. All right. Um, I don't think it's any spoiler to say this scrap iron figure, the the classified version, is amazing. Um, no, it, definitely it does is. everything the original figure did, but I don't think a tank anti-tank armor specialist would be carrying around a, a tank armor tank anti-armor that just sits there right. now if tanks were one piece things that just hung out in one spot and didn't do it you know maybe mm -hmm. but i think that the classified version has the tank treads and that alone in my mind is way more what scrap iron would be using than uh hurry up and get the get the infantry to carry this out for me so I can shoot it. So I'm going classified scrap iron is the scrap iron and is scrap iron to ever scrap iron. Yes, sir, ever. What's your take? Steven, the writing dad. Uh, well, I got to agree with you, man. Um, hands down for me, there's no, yeah. yeah, there's no competition here. You know, um, yeah. obviously the toy itself still cool, you know, right. still you know, very Vincent to a lot of that good stuff. Nothing against that different time. I think the newer figure absolutely will play into what that file car card is telling you. I agree with yep. you with the uh, remote, um, with the actual missile. I'm going to say missile launcher makes it easier for me. Sure, sure. Yeah. The missile launcher yeah. that actually moves. Right. You know, that you can move it. Cause like you said, when, you know, you had the, um, the tank treads on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I agree with you. I got nothing other than that's the one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um it's it's all both figures are awesome. The original scrap iron is a classic. Mm -hmm. It's in the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame. It's it's one of the top Cobra figures of any year. It's nice. amazing. But I think that just those tank treads alone are enough to make the classified figure enough to switch it out yep. more like what scrap iron would really use. If this new figure classified came with just feet to just mm -hmm. stand there, I think I go, I think I go, I think I go classic figure. I think I go to the 84. Okay. Um, and I've done that before because if it's just, if we're just going to completely rehash exactly yeah. what the original one did, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to pick the old one because it came first. Yeah, okay. um, but uh, the the tank the tank treads totally do it, and I think he's the most scrap irony scrap iron to ever scrap iron. Oh, I like it. You did that. <laughs> that went off. Okay, well, it's unanimous, unanimous. Um, so, uh, I think it's time. Is it's it time, time to bust a rhyme? Is it time? Time to shoot a mime. <laughs> it's time to post a vine. Get it. All right, this is awesome. So if you made it this far with us and you enjoy what you're watching, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to do. It, it does it. It means the world to us. Um, we recently have gone over a hundred subscribers on YouTube, and thank I you. thank you all so very much. Thank um, you. But I'm greedy. I want more. I'm more. Like subscribe. Like subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Hey, friends. Watch all the time. <laughs> okay, so you want to go first? You want me to go first? Uh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So for me, my guy has already had experience with the uh, the burnt face. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know him. Let's not pretend that you don't. Game of Thrones. Oh. Oh, okay. oh the dog. The, the hound, the hound, the, the hound, hound, the hound. Oh. That's my pick. That's my guy. Oh. I still remember him from uh, Hot Fuzz. Yarp. <laughs> it looks like he's doing it right there. Yarp. It does look like it. 
Oh, that's a different take. That's pretty good. I that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I like that. I like that take. Um, definitely be more physically imposing than I think this scrap iron maybe would be, but you know, yeah. the burns maybe, definitely. Uh, maybe you got to remember this guy's dealing with weapon and machinery all the time. You know, he might have you know put on some size. <laughs> I don't think it makes him grow any taller, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> hey, hey, it never said how tall he was. <laughs> no, it's true. It's all true. It's very true. Very true. <laughs> All right, so that's what Rory McCann. All right. All right, what you got? What you got? All right, so mine, Ooh. if I remember right, he also has experience uh, with more subtle scarring um, okay. and definitely playing a villain of, uh, we'll say, we're not exactly sure where the villain's from, sort of mixed European ethnicity, I guess. We mm -hmm. have. Callan Mulvey. Oh, I've seen him I, in. I've the, seen him in some things. Yeah, he was. Uh, I can't tell you what. <laughs> he was KG Beast in Batman versus Superman. I think. I don't think you under really knew who he was. He was just like uh -huh. a. He kidnapped Lois Lane in. Uh, yeah, Batman versus Superman. All um, right. If you look at the the director's cut version or whatever the Snyder's cut. Well. It, it's not the Snyder cut, that last mm -hmm. one. It's it's the Bat Dawn of Justice, Batman versus Superman. Oh, There's yeah. they did a director's cut of that okay. to make it full eight hours long, uh, which is a superior film by far. It's a great, great I have film. seen it and I do agree. It is a better it's a, it better a far superior film with all that stuff. What else has he been in? He's been in um all right, let me do some googling here. I can tell you. Uh he was in um 300 rise of an empire he was in till death he was in children of the corn 2020 um no, that's not the dude i'm thinking of man but yeah what's wrong with his eye is his eye yeah no that's what i'm saying man he gives you that 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 sort of um he was in captain america the winter soldier he was jack rollins but yeah he's always got a weird look to him um, he's from New Zealand. He's usually just that bad guy that in the background, like he's he's usually like henchman number one sort of thing. Uh, all right, let's um, give him the shot. No, <laughs> um, but I think yeah, he's his eye makes him a little kind of unsettling, and I think that would be perfect for scrap iron with his. Okay. Uh, so okay, mine didn't hit as hard as I thought it would, but. <laughs> it's all right you can't win them all man no no i yeah. try i try God. <laughs> let me win a few <laughs> all right you can have you you win the you win this round <sighs> and viewers at home you can play too who would yeah. you cast as scrap iron yeah, that um, would obviously we don't know where he's from so pick anybody make anybody up and which and let us know which one is your ultimate scrap iron yeah. Um, and if there's another one you like better, which scrap iron out of those two, out of other scrap iron figures, who would you rather have as scrap iron? Um, you know what? We could get Danny Trejo to make scrap iron. Oh, that is good thinking. Yeah, that would be an yeah. interesting one. That would be good. I can see his face. With the deep voice, too. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not the way we should do it. No, I say. I'm like... <laughs> I see his food truck around here all the time. Well, not around really? here, but in Washington, he's got a food oh, truck. Yeah. That's well, he's weird. got a restaurant, and then they have a food truck. It's like uh, Trejo's or something. You know, Trejo, Trejo's nachos or all of Danny Trejo. I listened to his uh, audio book. Does and, he narrate it? Uh, yeah. Oh, not a good choice. No, no, no. no. So, <laughs> not a good choice. I had to. I was like, nope, I can't. I can't get through this. There's no way. I feel like, like, his editor should have like <laughs> told him like, hey, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Danny, can I speak with you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we just listened to what you just recorded, and no one knows what you just said. <laughs> oh, um, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm gonna tell is you, it like too much of a gravelly road? Is that what no, it's like? It's like, it's not even gah, 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 like his voice is all right, like you could tell, but it's like this like you could tell that he he's not comfortable reading, 
or he just started to read. You know what I mean? And wait, wait, like, you mean like he just learned how to read? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> everything is pronounced properly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. It was pronounced properly, but it's like uh we were at this place together and we didn't know. And then every once in a while he'll like let off a laugh. <laughs> like <laughs> <was Yeah>. it. <laughs> just, and then we went and we got the guns. But to this day, I don't know if I would have do it again. Like something <laughs> like he, that's the, like the, the cadence was just man, and I couldn't help but think, like, my man, you you're an actor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're performing. Like, how somebody really should have, I think, yo, quality control just, like, slept on the job on that one, man. I tell that you. was the first time I killed somebody, but it wouldn't be the last. Yeah, ah, it was. Ah, ah, and ah. It, you couldn't tell, like, if you, like, some point, so he was speeding up, and some, he had to slow down to catch the words. He was. Because they're like, hurry up. <laughs> How do you tell? How do you wrangle machete? Machete. How do you, you wrangle, you uh, Mr. Trejo? You know come, on. come on, come on, buddy. Pick you it don't. Up. That's how comic went off like that because the quality was like no. Editor said hell no. Publisher said yeah, we're just gonna have to bite this one. <laughs> that, well, like Snoop Dogg, like, like you can't you can't wrangle Snoop Dogg, right? So like oh my god, no. Snoop you just Dogg. you know what you're getting. Yes. And you just kind of let mm -hmm. him do his thing and. It's gonna be good, and it's I, fun I think too. I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I think it's just like that. Uh, can we re-record? No, it's fine. Okay, no. so next, <laughs> I don't want to see this thing touched. <laughs> no. it has to I read be, it. What's it's the most authentic self. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, the book the book is good though. The dude went through an incredible uh, change. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Uh, he, it's wild. Everybody loves a comeback story. You know what I mean? And he's missed a comeback and yeah. hard. Like, dude made a conscious choice after a lot. You yeah. know, that went down. Anyway, but yeah, you can get that dude. You know, yeah. Get him and maybe in his younger days or whatever. But hell yeah, I think that'll work. Oh. Wait. All right. No, so I'm you gonna... can find more on Danny Trejo on our podcast, Trey Home Trey Homies. <laughs> We went in on that one, like <laughs> our Danny Trejo, Danny Trejo sponsored podcast, Trey Homies. Uh, what are you we're airing about? right after this one? <laughs> just keep waiting. What are you talking about, Bendejo? You just made fun of me in front of all these people. <laughs> Trey Homies, Trey. <laughs> what would we call? What would fans of Danny Trejo be? The oh, the I don't know. Trey Migos? The Trey Hoes. Like, oh, the Trey, just Trey Hoes. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like my stable of gung hoes. You got this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. very good. You see all of them there, like, yeah, that's me. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, much Trey like... <laughs> And if you love more talk like this, you can find our social media. <laughs> uh, listed below in the description are links to Perfect. everything oh, that we do. Um, I like to take pictures of toys. That's right. Uh, we also have a comic podcast that's audio. Owned. Well, no, there is video now if you go on Spotify. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we've started to record those. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, well, what else do you do, uh, Stephen the Writing Dad? Fun times, fun times. Well, Working on several short stories. It was coming out on Amazon shortly, so stay tuned for that. Okay, um, and also we get on. I get on. Uh, uh, oh wow, got some guys here. Yeah, there's, a, there's all the Instagram, faces. Instagram, all the faces. TikTok, right, yeah. you can catch me on there. I have a couple of snippet videos coming soon. YouTube channel, the Writing uh, Dad Show, coming soon. Uh, stay tuned for that. All right, very good. Well. Again, thank you for joining us and be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You know you want to do it. Just and if you're already subscribed, please be sure to like and thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, hope you learned awesome. a little bit more about scrap iron. Um, 
You guys and, all know. Uh, and he, Danny Trejo. And right. You weren't expecting that nugget. No. But you got no that was free. We, we gave we're, we're givers. You know, and that's it's our pleasure. You you come for the scrap iron, you stay for the Danny yeah. Trejo. That's right. Talk. And if you uh, if you want, you too can be a Trejo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. We, we got the connections. We already understood. We got you. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yo, Joe.